the presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja as I joined the pre-hearing section involving Peter Obi of the Labour Party, the Independent National Electoral Commission, and the president elect Bola Tinumbu. The adjournment followed counter accusations between the respective councils for Obi and INEC regarding inability of the Labour Party candidate lawyer to gain access to election materials need for the proceedings. Why Obi's lawyers accused INEC of failing to avail them with the election materials in line with court orders, the commission's lawyer told the five-man panel of the presidential tribunal that Obi's team refused to pay the required fees to assess the materials. The last time I saw a video when the court gave the order, the INEC chairman was telling us that he will allow them because they were there for how many times? He didn't tell us that they, were, no, they didn't want to pay. <laughs> So were they supposed to pay in the first place? I don't understand. Even if they were supposed to pay, these guys were going back and forth. And he could not even allow them to assess until he told the court that he wanted to reconfigure the so-called uh, beavers. Now he's telling us that uh, they, were, they didn't want to pay. So that they don't have that. Is it that they don't have the money or what? Is it required for them to pay such money? Record that. The court had on May 10, after agreement by lawyers to different parties, ordered them to meet and agree on documents relevant to the case as well as file in all their processes, in the processes and replies before today, May 17. But at the resumed pre hearing on Wednesday, Obi and Labour Party's lead counsel, Levy Uzoku, SAN, informed the court that his team's meeting with INEC on Tuesday did not yield positive results. Quoting Uzoku, deep regret, we wish to say that up till now, INEC is here to give us 70% of all the documents they promised to give us. Citing River State as an instance, he said the resident electoral commissioner told him boldly that they do not have any form EC8A to give his legal team. Uzoku added that his team also met with lawyers representing Tidumbu and the All Progressives Congress, who said they have only some. Reacting counsel for INEC, Abubakar Mahmoud, denied the allegation made in open court by Uzoku. He accused the Labour Party team of not attending the meeting at the agreed time, but rather choose to work on them. On the electoral materials from River State, the INEC lawyer accused the Labour Party of refusing to pay 1.5 million naira fee required to access them. He added that some documents have been provided to Labour Party but they refuse to collect them, insisting the documents must be complete. Following non-adherence to the earlier order of the court, the five-man panel led by Justice Haruna Samani fixed Friday for further pre-hearing on the case. <laughs> hmm. Adjournments, adjournments. After that, uh, Friday, the next one is going to be after May 29. Oh, they might see extend to that time. Before that time, I next still looking for money after the huge bribe collected to rig the election. They want to use the 1.5 million to a smart Ubi by using it against him for bribing them. But Ubi is smart. <laughs> you think so? Hmm. INEC lawyer accused Labour Party of refusing to pay 1.5 million fee required to assess the electoral material. Please permit me, as a layman, to ask a question and make an input. Should a party whom the court has granted authority to examine materials purportedly regarded as exhibits be required to pay any money before having access to the materials? I would have reasoned that the court should have called INEC to order and direct them to allow Labour Party to carry out the inspection without payment it is the court that is extending all this confusion 29 don't reach go they are postponing indulging bribery and they can't even understand their own court orders while well, like democracy is a scam a misdirection of the nation's attention away from what is really going on the documents now for say must you monitor everything? It is just a technical way of digging your responsibility. If your hands are clean, make all the documents available and leave the rest for the tribunal to judge. Yeah.
Father Mbaka said that it a stingy man can never be Nigeria president. Obi people were insulting him. <laughs> Shishi, he will not pay unless I neck. Useless I neck. What did you do with the over 300 billion naira which we gave for the election? The man who they give Shishi, they won't make him. Maybe somebody said they won't make him bribe so that they will say he was trying to bribe them. I neck doesn't even have any genuine results with them this time they are confused in their manipulations to make sure that Tinubu wins the election i neck and buari they something they worry them i neck no have shame at all is the payment of 1.5 million are a part of the order of conditions given by the tribunal for i neck to release materials to labor party is it lawful for i neck to demand money from any political party before it would release the documents to the party as ordered by the court of competent jurisdiction what a country is nigeria court order is no longer respected is nigeria a banana republic <laughs> now on our question which useless money is the 1.5 million or one of the collected one of the collected to re is not okay for them <laughs> okay well. Can you just imagine? I don't understand this country. The one they use and rig the election is not even enough for them. Must they be bribed before Labour Party will look into the elections? The question is that if the money is not a legal, legal, I don't think INEC will be saying that. Then why will Obi not want to pay the money? Because I'm sure they are unable. You know, <laughs> the whole thing is just shrouded in what we don't understand. The more you look, the less you see. Tinubu inauguration. If they go small, small. Mm. Remember, Obi is smarter than them. They will use it as evidence that Obi wanted to bribe them with a hidden recording camera as evidence at the tribunal. Exactly. Hey, hey. Ah, this Nigeria now. Wah.